Hey guys, well, today, as you can tell, some PJ, getting ready for the day, had my breakfast leftovers, but either way, today we're going to do the Morphe 24A Artist Task, and as always, it's a collaboration, and I do not know how to say her name, so, what was I going to say? But, yeah, this, this... It is, I believe, some pressed pigments in here, as always, you know, if it is pressed pigments, there is that chance of staining, so you guys just watch out for that. Be careful if you think that's a big deal. Normally, I don't suffer from staining, because my eye primers tend to be very thick, so normally, if I have that good eye, thick eye primer, anything I put on top of it comes off very nicely, and then I struggle. Just a tad with any leftovers that might have gotten out of the area where the primer was. But to get out of the box, this is the palette. Open it up. We have a mirror. We have the colors in there. The plastic protector. And here we are. Oh my god, yeah, watch me struggle here. So let me switch it to this side. Normally it focuses better. But well, let me get out of the screen. If I can but like this we have very beautiful glitters on the bottom some neon shades right there and the center shimmery shades and nice gold and bronze we have some star shapes right there and I've seen a lot of people hate on the little stars but like I personally like shapes in some of my glitters normally for something like that I would use like some glitter glue areas make sure it doesn't move into my eye because if that does fall in your eye you are going to hurt so normally i try to keep that away from the eyelid area and do it like maybe bottom of my eye you know the bottom lash in that area or the inner corner so if it falls for any reason it falls off my face not into my eye and then on the top we still have one glitter shade it seems and then some more neutral tones this nice little like what would you call this mauve tone whatever you would call it I don't know but overall I think this is very pretty shimmery shades and all that in here matte shades right here it seems like with the neon ones also being matte and as always I have no clue what I look I'm gonna do but probably something like close to a cut crease maybe not a full cut crease maybe it is gonna be a cut crease but I will try to make this very colorful I do have work today, but like I said, they don't mind me showing up all bam in your face kind of thing. And I'm like, let me find my brush cleaner right here. From the Dollar Tree. I tell you, a lot of these things are from the Dollar Tree. I am going to do pretty soon a full face of Dollar Tree makeup video because like, why not? I work there. I basically know everything that we sell. And I, I'm pretty sure about everything that would be a full face. So with this, I'm looking, I'm looking, it's going to be a, a little, because I really, really want to use this one. It is so pretty, but I don't know what I'm going to do, because I do have to start wearing a mask at work, definitely. So my eyes are going to be center of attention, because I'm going to be covering from here on down. But it is for the better of, you know, keeping everyone safe and everything. So, you know what, we're just going to do a halo eye. I just need to find the right brush to start doing that. I need something that, this is just a random little brush that comes in, you know, with your old makeup kits. You know, you get a palette and you're like, what the crap is this? I actually keep them, and I do use them. They do come in handy. Don't ever let them tell you you shouldn't use something. No, I'm kidding. There are certain ones, certain things you should not do. But, let's see, let's see. I believe I'm going to start, oof. I'm gonna, okay, I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to work my way, like, this purple, this, I wanted to say that, but, uh, the blue's throwing me off, because it'd be easy to go purple, pink, yellow, right? Or blue, green, yellow. But if I want to incorporate all of them, I'm like hitting a roadblock in my head. Would it be purple, pink, purple, blue, green, yellow? Okay, I think 
think I'm gonna do that. I already said it, and I just... <laughs> purple too. I got I like that name already. It's a little weird because I don't I don't think I've ever tried to see how many outer outer edge of my eyes. I think I'm gonna do one eye first and then the second eye off camera because I haven't posted an Instagram video in a while. I'm kinda of neglecting that. And I shouldn't. And you are going to start noticing some affiliate links in my videos. You don't have to purchase from them. You know, it's just, they're just there. If you like those companies, you can save a bit of money. That's the only reason they're there. I haven't reviewed those yet. I have ordered it. Because, you know, I have an affiliate link. And I'm putting it down there. And I want to have a video up with the honest honest review so that's coming soon too i know i mentioned the get ready in five minute video and i was supposed to do that and i will do that but things got hectic so things are still hectic and it's crazy but right now we've done the pink fuchsia color max volume that's what we've done and i went in with major and spell and i'm not really blending anything in right now i'm just laying down like basically a foundation kind of thing a building block and then we i will as always i will go back slowly and work them in and blend them together because that's what it is and all i should have probably done that eye because that eye is closer but because it is quite a few colors i'm gonna try to get onto this lid i need a Kind of set a foundation on what I need. But I think. I think I might have done. Too much of this purple on this side. Because I'm running out of space. I might not be able to do the yellow. I'll have to probably save that for the bottom lash or something. We're in our corner highlight. Because now I'm on the green. And that is taking up the center. So yeah. The yellow is going to have to be like an inner corner. Maybe part of the bottom but as you can tell they're very pigmented because we we literally went pink purple blue green and this is what we're looking at very very pigmented and as i said i'm i'm gonna go back and start blending and like packing on some more color i barely tap into it since this is a densely packed brush right there i'm barely going in I'm getting that color. Just go back, barely tap in just a little bit of extra so I can blend the top together right there. But they're working beautifully marble too. What I might do because I want to have a nice little like shading transition right there. It's very difficult to hold these. I think that's why most people use the actual this, but then if I do that, you guys can't see anything, so maybe like this. But it's not as nice. I can't... The mirror is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. It's just I'm blocking out the light if I try to use the mirror in the palette or versus the mirror that's right there. So, those are my technical difficulties right now. Like, literally. It's just my spacing, my very small desk and everything. And then, you know, like I said, we were planning on getting this new place. We put in the application, but without being able to actually go to the bank, sit down, have our interview for the loan, it has put a damper in our plans, and it's taking a seat in the back burner. But, you know, it is what it is. They need to stay safe. I completely understand. But we kind of wish there could be a little push or something we don't know we don't know what it is that we're looking for or wanting we were hoping you know we could say that stimulus check but my car needed a new power steering pump his his window and his car like just fell into the door and he literally just heard it go click, 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 boom and it was gone his whole window was gone and he he was like that for like a week and a half because we didn't know how much it was going to cost. And he kept saying he was going to try to fix it himself. 
that a guy think anyone else's boyfriend, husband, partner, like, into that? Like, I got it. I can fix it. I will totally be able to get this under control, in hand, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, okay, I'll believe you when I see it happen. And then it doesn't happen and you have to go to a professional. You know, but like I was upset with him because, because of them, give me a chance. Because it stormed here, like, really bad. So, like, his car got, like, really soaked. Got, like, the brunt of it. So, but it is what it is. I'm going to go in with this shade. Unexpected, I know. But I kind of want to blow out this little edge a little bit more. But not with that fuchsia pink. I want to kind of be able to bring this in. Add some warmth to the eye. Like this. I am loving this palette right now. I know you guys hear me say that about a lot of palettes. But they've all been like performing really well lately here. So. But look at this. Like barely any pressure or any of it. It is blending wonderfully, beautifully. Little, 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 little product on my brush. And it is paying off beautifully. I literally do like the lightest little pet on there get a little bit and i am bringing it all the way across because i i don't like harsh lines but there we go like this we have that going on right now going in with the densely part of that brush this one's the ones that come with the anastasia palettes you know the ones you're like i'm oh, just toss it out i don't i say they are wonderful they are great i'm just going back in adding color to the areas that kind of like Take the color off of from all the blending and stuff like this pink out here that I kind of took off the edge. Bringing it back in, adding it all, packing. And I'm pretty sure this is what I want for the eye look right now. I think I'm gonna blend in a little bit more of that purple. This this purple right here, the nice purple right there. Barely any on that little edge, and just bring it up over like this over into the crease and add a little bit more warmth and depth into this eye like that you see this so it's a nice little transition very focused kind of thing and in the end because i did that and this like i might do this this nice little shimmery let me take this one there we go this one, what is that called? The Private Oasis, because it's got like this, you see this? Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to think I'm going to do that right here in the center. Woo! Yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Could not ask for more from a shade like that. And I'm going to try to take that and blend it and make sure it's not too much. But I'm saying the shade is not going to be too bad. Like, oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. And then. I have a little bit of fallout. You see that? Fallout. Eh. I never know how to feel about that. Because, I mean, if I want beautiful pigmentation. I expect fallout. But, um, you know. You know, that's up to you. Personal choice. So, I think I am going to do this yellow right here, that yellow on the bottom. It is very like neon y. But let's see if this is the type. That is not the right type of brush, okay? That was not building anything up. So, let's go in with this very thick one and see if I, that will help this yellow. If it does not, I'm going to try one more thing. Because that is just, that one is not sticking. Which is fine. Like, I understand. Uh, it's a getting the on yellow, like, I might need some extra type of love, brand, something like that. But I have an e.l.f. one that's um, white, eye primer. Warm it up a little bit on my finger. Wiping it. Looking for something I very specifically bought to be able to use that. This little 
sponge tip applicator here for eyes. And I'm going to try and see if I can get that eye primer right here. Because I do want that yellow to show up. Let me get back in focus for one, right? Right? I wish there was something in my camera would be like, Hey, your eye is out of focus. You need to bring that back on screen. It would help. So I just put a little bit of primer down on my eye. Try to smooth it out. Pat it on in. So hopefully it won't make my eyeshadow catchy. Hopefully, because, you know, sometimes it doesn't go the way you want. I mean, it just might be what's happening right now, but that's fine. So, I'm going with slightly fluffy, slightly dense brush right there. Picking up a good amount of the powder, and I'm going to go back in. And sadly, that shade's not going to work for me. Sadly. It is just not, even with the eye primer, it's not sticking. So scratch that idea that yellow is not as a no-go. I guess I'm going to go with um, just a normal um, blended bottom lash line. I'm going to make it nude. So I did go in with this shade, the Seek shade. And that's going to be the outer edge of that eye. And then we're going to slowly move into security we're just going to keep moving inwards with the shades gradually lighting up lightening up like this we're going to keep the bottom lash pretty neutral so we're going to do that and then we will go in with desert vibes and we're going to do it right in here add some warmth in you guys see that powder coming off? It's because I'm using this type of brush, okay? If I didn't use that type of brush, I probably wouldn't be doing that. Then get the shot. It's going to be right in here. Like that. You going to see that? It's a nice little gradual shift. As always, I will put the images up on Instagram with very light filtering. I always try to do the... Um, filter to match the warmth that's outside because i tend to take my instagram photos outside so it can actually bring in the undertones that i see in real life and that because like as long my camera does really good in picking these up right here in video in video but when i try to do a photo it makes it more cool tone and it changes the warmth under these so that's not i'm trying to avoid that for you guys so you guys can actually see it but, like I said, this is doing marvelously great. See, and then the camera, there we go. My camera tries to focus on the wrong things. Very wrong things. But here we go. This is what the bottom lash line is looking like. Very neutral, very quiet. And then I am going to use Secret Set. There we go. That's going to go in the inner corner. Let me see. What I can do like that, like this, very pretty, but I feel like it needs more of a pop, so not the purple, maybe this stage persona with that right here, add a little bit of just face first. And then go back again with that set, secret set. So it just lets it pop a little bit more. But uh, this is what we have so far. Let me, let me bring this camera this way. But this is what I'm seeing. Okay. That beautiful niceness right there. And that. Nice neutral to kind of keep these really bright and popping. But... As always, I am going to do my liner and my lashes off the camera because I don't want this to be like a 30 minute long video. Even though it might be. So instead of 30 minutes, it'd probably be like 15 minutes. But I'll be right back with the finished looks and all that. And I'll let you guys know if I added anything, which sometimes I do under the Bravo. 
and I might still do the little stars, so give me a second, let me finish all that, and I'll be right back, okay? Alright, I'm back, and my lighting is really weird today in here. Like, I didn't realize until I came back right now. Uh, ignore my hair, it's gonna be a mess while I finish this off. I don't know why I don't take it off and, like, brush my hair and then come back and tune in, you guys. Let me put this in there. But either way, so I did go back and added some highlight in the brow bone. I don't know if I did that or I think I did that off camera. Obviously, if you guys didn't see it, right? Right. So let me try to get some of this lighting. Let's see if I can show you guys exactly. Nope, too much lighting. You see the struggles of trying to do this in your room? Oh, but either way, like, here is the glitteriness, the beautiful beautiful little effect that we did and I did add in the stars you see this and I will let you guys know how long it lasts but I already feel some glitter filling into my eye because I did go back and I swirled into this like literally try to swirl it and it's mm, finger application is not gonna work I can tell you that much but I took a little bit of this like literally the lightest little bit and that's what you see are those little bigger girl reflex in there like shimmer shades and then this one but I you can feel them in the eye like it doesn't hurt it just like irritates but you don't want glitter in your eye so you might want to try an adhesive with that one because I did not do that now with this this shade right here like let, let me shade it's not even a shade with this little pot right here if you try to do this it's not gonna work you just pick up a little bit of the glitter that's underneath it but let me see if i can hold that sideways so you can see what that star is doing like you see that sticking out right there that's the little stars in there so what i did is i actually just grabbed some tweezers and picked up the stars individually and just added them on where i wanted them i just placed them down where i wanted them because that is very very pretty it is nice but like i said I added that on top of the other shades, and I've got, like, maximum shine and shimmer on my eyes. Oh, it's, it's stunning. It's beautiful. Love it. I do love it. But, like, like I said, these stars are sticking up out of this. So you're not going to want to use your finger, you guys. You definitely are not. This is just going to be one of those shades where you can place it individually like I did. Just pick them up with a little tweezer. Add a little extra adhesive if you want, especially especially if you're one of those people who wants to risk it and try it up near up here. I personally do not want to go that far because if it falls in my eye, I'm going to be in trouble, especially if it happens at work. Oh, I accidentally dug into my shade right there. And then I did this shade right underneath the brow bone. I, if you can see that little bit of shimmer in there, it's very pretty. I like it. It's like, yes, you'll see that. That's under the brow bone, right in this area. And then this one, it's more of a golden, deeper one. And I used that right in here just to blend it out. And all in all, I used quite a bit of the shadows. I used one, two, three, four. That one I gave up on because it did not, like, it just did not have pigmentation. This, I barely tapped it around the edges is what you'll see the bigger ones over here. It's very pretty, very nice. I really like that one. These are very chunky as well. But, like, they are pretty. I don't think you'll mind them at all. I mean, they are pressed glitter, so what would you expect? And then this one's what I have on the center of the eye, topped with a tad bit of the little extra on this one. Woo! This one I put in the inner corner right in here. That's what you see there. You, you can see that shadow now. And then... This combo right here is what you see underneath the lash right there. It's what adds a little bit of depth to my eyes and makes these pop more out towards you. This I use just a little bit beneath that one to make it really enhance and like pop the shimmer shades. Those two are what I said are used right there. So how many is that? Oh, and then that one I used to blend it all out around the edges. And then I think that is it. So I used... Let's do it. Let's count. I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16. I used 16 of these shades. 17 technically because I tried that one, but I just could not. There was, like, it is, it's just not going to work. I don't know. I don't know if, maybe I should have tried it with my finger and not given up so easy. But how am I supposed to use it on, like, the, yeah, it's not, that's just not going to do it. I will probably try that in a different look, different palette, different shadow combo, somewhere along the lines. But all in all, it's a good palette. It's a great palette. You can come up with some really nice, pretty colors, schemes, looks. If you're not the bright color pe person, but you really just want to stare at these because they're nice and they're pretty. And you want to just make a nice, everyday, neutral, nude eye look. You have, you have your options there. You want to try just a special occasion here and there. There you go. Do you have to invest in very many palettes? No, because you probably don't need that many. But other than that, I use the Huda Beauty Trophy Wife on my lips. That's what I have there. My highlight is a combination right now of the Cody Airspun and the Jeffree Star Extreme Frost. This one's the special one from the Bloodless Collection, Choking on Ice. I like it. It adds a bit of different dimension and color to my highlight there. And then what you see blinding on my nose and stuff is actually the Jaclyn Hill one. And this one's in Balm. Like, it's just different lighting and different settings is what I like on here. But, like I said, so far this is the look I came up with with that palette. Um, my, there's the highlights and everything. The lip color. The eye look, all that stars you can see the stars better that way, right? But that is that. Also, next time I feel like I'm probably gonna try the Profusion Neon one. I did order the Wet n Wild Neon colors as well, and like I said, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do that five minute challenge. I really am. Do I think I'm gonna be able to do it? Probably not. I'll probably cut out a lot of my steps because I'm not minimal enough. But I should be. Okay. I'll figure it out. But that's a, on my video list idea because someone requested that right at the beginning when I started all this. And then, like I said, the Wet n Wild Neon colors I ordered, they should be coming next week is what they said. Um, but I do have, I still have a lot of palettes. I think I also have another one from Colored Rain where I got the whole Power Play collection kind of thing going on. So I'm going to try those as well. So I have a lot to try out of the full face of Dollar Tree Makeup 2 because why not? I work there, I might as well try it. I mean, I have a chance to buy every single thing that comes in from that. them to make a full face. But yes, yeah, as I said, press the like button if you want, if you liked it, if I entertained you even somewhat, kept you distracted from all the craziness out here. Subscribe. Hang out with me, talk with me, comment, I will reply, I will say something, we will have a whole conversation, I will keep up with it, even we have like four different conversations going on. But, I am here, listening ears, reading eyes, all of it, I will reply. If you just want to vent, you know, get to know me, I'll get to know you, you know, long distance pen pals or something. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye!